my name is Kendall Raymond. I was taught by Mrs. White um, freshman year through senior year of high school at Wald Lake Central High School. Mrs. White is special on a lot of uh, different regards. Uh, she is the most passionate person I've ever met. She's an artist by trait and a mother by night and uh, her creativity and her passion for life in general is something that she translates into the classroom every day and it's not an ordinary classroom. It's artistic, it's structured but unstructured and it is um, a place where students want to be where they can grow and develop as people and not just as students. I was uh, very scared to go into high school. I was uh, timid about it. I had always been really involved and I wasn't sure how I was going to find that in a school of 2,000 students and I, I found her while running for student government my first uh, couple weeks at high school and uh, she motivated me to continue on with that path and I ended up being vice president at DePaul last year for student government um, and it took a great deal of courage to you know motivate yourself to do something and put yourself on the line like that and it really does go all the way back to those first couple weeks of freshman year and beyond when she gave me the faith to just kind of do what I wanted to do and that if I was motivated enough and had enough faith in myself that it would happen. An inspiring moment for Mrs. White um, was completely unrelated to myself um, in the larger picture. Um, during the time that Mrs. White was uh, teaching me, she was undergoing a diagnosis of autism with her son Drew. Uh, Drew was, you know, having a really hard time and Mrs. White was having an equally as hard time. Um, she persevered through it and she was in the classroom being an inspiration every day to myself and to all the people around her. Um, the diagnosis itself um, was something that I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. Um, it was it was amazing to watch her seek the resources for her son and to be an inspiration in the classroom and to Drew day in and day out and just a tireless role model. Um, at the time, you know, we, we look at our parents and we think they're crazy or we're going through that phase where they're just not that cool. Um, and as I grow up and I look back on that, I, I see what parents do for us as we grow up. Um, in many ways, Mrs. White is a little second mother to me. Um, and as I grow older and begin to appreciate these things more and more, um, I appreciate the way in which she was able to involve her students in that diagnosis and to be a real person about it and to share her pain and to share the successes with us. Um, because as she moved forward, so did we and we cheered for Drew and we became a support system for Drew and you know he's doing great now and to see what a mother's love can do and what an educator's you know inspiration can do uh, it will affect the rest of my life and it's it's a really important important lesson um, tying that all together it's also this notion of make sure you keep time for your family in the business world that can be hard and um, I will never forget that. I learned that the best way I could. Mrs. White, what do I have to say to you? Um, thank you does not seem good enough um, for all the years that you have been a tireless role model and a tireless mentor. I, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, I think about you more than you know and I appreciate everything you've done for me day in and day out. Um, whether it be an occasional email or those holiday texts you always send or the teaching I got back in the day at Central. I will always remember you as the kindest, most passionate person that I could have ever asked for. Um, it's educators like you who keep students moving, who keep students doing good in this world, and who keep people um, looking forward to their future. And I thank you for that. Um, as I leave DePaul, I um, still am grateful for what I had from you and the relationship we continue to have and I appreciate it and 
I wish you the best and thank you.